Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of August 2020. Okay. Ooh. All right, Leos, what's going on? Okay, so we have deception here. Um, this usually indicates someone is not being completely honest. Um, someone is wearing a false mask, self-mask in this relationship. Um, now, oftentimes it doesn't necessarily mean that. Sometimes it has more to do with the work that we need to do or refusing to see something in our behavior or in our nature that affects relationships. Um, unfortunately for your situation leo i don't see it that way what they're telling me here is um the partner or person that you may be dealing with is not being completely honest or transparent with you we also do have chemistry here uh, there's a strong magnetic attraction here i feel that for some of you guys you may be dealing with a separation or a separation could have occurred based on a third party type of situation um, what they're telling you here is that there is a lot of healing that needs to happen with you, Leo. Uh, they're speaking about loving yourself first, and this is that of self-love. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And is it safe for you to love? I feel that you're very guarded, or you may be experiencing like being extremely guarded, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. Um there could have been a situation where the person that you were dealing with or your ex-partner wasn't completely honest or transparent or they led you to believe something in them that wasn't really true it could have been wearing a false mask being um presenting themselves very in, fa in fake priest uh pretenses basically um but more than anything, for some of you guys, um, especially, like I said, those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I feel that you're very guarded based on the past experiences and the separation card here, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I feel that for some of you guys, you've already surpassed that type of energy. Now, some of you guys may still be dealing with that energy. Um, but I feel that the majority of you have already surpassed that or are in the, you know, being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel type of energy. And what they're telling you here, Leo, is that it's very important for the remaining of August, and I want to say all the way to September, to learn to love yourself first. Um, this could be having like codependency issues as we do have the codependency card here addictions are affecting your romantic life for some of you guys this could be like uh, alcoholism um this could be even being completely comfortable like really not being social um being very secluded very like you've grown accustomed to that because it brings you peace but at the same time like i said for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while i feel like you're not challenging yourself because you're thinking or feeling like you don't want to go through the same thing you went through in the past. Um, but what they're telling you is instead of focusing on that, you should be focusing all your energy in treating yourself and taking care of yourself, learning to love yourself more, Leo. And I know that this is often, or I should say this is rare to see these kind of readings for Leos. Um, you, you know, naturally are a very... Um, person that is very connected to your ego um but i feel that something in the past could have happened where the way you were treated in a relationship you almost connected that to something that had to do with you personally and that wasn't the case yes there was lessons that needed to be learned but how their treatment was towards you is not a reflection of you it's a reflection of them or the lack of experience that they have therefore uh, they were the way they were but what they're telling you here is i feel that that kind of diminished your confidence or your belief uh, for some of you guys you know especially leos often are extremely loyal so 
you know, perhaps you put up with certain things that you wouldn't have put up with with any normal other person. Uh, but because the love was very strong and present in that relationship, you could have allowed them to disrespect you in a way where now it's almost like you promised yourself you would never go through that again. But in that process, you've also shut yourself down. So what Spirit is saying is work on, you know, self-love, work on loving yourself and understanding that how other people treat you is not really much to do with you. It's much to do with them. It speaks volumes of them, not of you. Now, if you continue to allow people to treat you that way, then it does speak about you. And those are things that we need to work through. But the codependency issues here, again, I feel for some of you guys, it could just be that you've grown accustomed to being comfortable where you're at and you're not really challenging yourself when it comes to love. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that there's lack of chemistry. You feel like people you see, it's like every single person is the same thing. You don't really click with them. But again, you are extremely guarded. So um, if you are, in fact, still dealing with the person, an ex-partner or something like that, uh, love yourself enough to walk away from what doesn't work with you anymore or doesn't do you any good. Um, instead, put all that love, all that devotion to yourself in order to grow uh, stronger and to know your self-worth and put yourself out there uh, give people the opportunity of really getting to know you or opening up and getting to know them uh, because I do see you guys extremely, extremely guarded. Now I'm going to be pulling out two cards and these are the energies that are currently, yeah, see, these are the energies that are currently affecting you or influencing. And you have the first house. So the first house is all to do with self. This is the card that the love your, yourself first uh, energy or card, sorry, uh, love yourself first that energy is all to do with the first house uh, because it speaks about yourself. It speaks about your physical body, your outlook, your self-image, um, life, philosophy, consciousness, opinions, awakening, self-awareness. This is all to do with expression, but also, again, when you go through challenging relationships where they really push you to the limit and you often do things that you wouldn't do for any normal person when there is a separation or there's a breakup you often connect that to how could i have let myself be treated this way etc cetera, etc cetera. and it affects your self image it affects how you feel that other people see you so i feel that you that has been triggered and i feel that it's very important especially when we're talking about signs that are very connected to ego like leos tend to do i feel that it really has shaken you so I think that in in this in the grander scale of things, I think that what Spirit is trying to say here is work in nurturing yourself and loving yourself and, you know, giving yourself all that attention that you oftentimes would give to your partner um, or the person that you cared for if you were in a relationship. Now, you also have the Taurus card here, and this is earthly uh, practical. So what they're telling you is ground yourself. It is very important to ground yourself, to be productive, but it also speaks about worthiness. So again, we go back to that of self. I think that for this month remaining of August going into September, it's going to be very important. Um, and you may find yourself in a situation, Leo, where you question your self-worth or where you question you know, almost the feeling like, have I lost that lust for life that I had at some point? And no, you have not. Um, you just need to let go of the feeling of how they treated you and how you view yourself and how you think they view you. You got to detach yourself from that um, in order for you to be able, again, like I said, to go back in and try to nurture yourself and try to heal that which was uh, or has been tainted. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we will see each other soon. Bye.